Hello guys, welcome back to another Seki 3 video and in this video today we're going to be doing a kind of update but we're going to be mainly talking about the clownfish in this video so without further ado, let's get into this video. So before starting actually, um, if you haven't yet, um, consider subscribing and liking because that will be really appreciated to me and um, that will really help me in the journey through YouTube and yeah that's basically it so let's actually start. So as in last video like I said the clownfish has been showing a bit of aggression to the firefish and you know we don't like that so if I said um, I said that if it gets worse we'll have to do something about it and let me give you a hint it got worse. So basically the clownfish, he, he's he been going into the cave physically now and been pecking at it. Um, it's chewed up its tail and uh, the firefish, he's, he's all right now, he's fine, he's safe, don't worry. Um, but the clownfish, we, we didn't really know what to do about. So we caught him and we put him in a breeder box in the corner. We left him in there for 24 hours because um, we've been suggested to do that um see if it's see if it will change so it was in there for 24 hours um let me just play a clip now of what it looked like right then guys so here is the aquarium as you see it's not much changed except um basically up here like i was talking about here's the clownfish he's in his breeder box because you know been a bit naughty so he's gonna be it's actually going to be released soon anyway so i'm going to record that in a minute um so we're gonna he's been in the tank for now um about roughly like 23 and a half hours so we're about to release him put him in the tank see if the firefish who is in his little cave see if the firefish uh, gets attacked and hopefully he doesn't and hopefully this clownfish has has um learned its lesson to not attack so if not um, we might have to do something about the fish like we said but yeah that's basically um, what's going on right now so <laughs> nothing much has changed except the flow on here has been reduced because because of the breeder box it's been blocking the flow so the enemy looks a bit more open hopefully it doesn't move just because of um, that flow changing but it shouldn't Still looks fine, but yeah. Let me just cut to when I release the clownfish and let's see if it will attack. So, after we put him back into the aquarium, um, literally, as soon as he went straight back in, he went straight for that firefish. So, literally, seconds after, or so literally, like, what, about minutes later, he was back, he was back in the breeder box. We didn't want to risk anything for this firefish. So, there was only one other thing we needed to do now, and that was probably to take him back. So. Sadly, that's what we did. We um, we put him in a bag and we took him back to the fish shop. Um, they're gonna take good care of him because um, they'll they'll probably find someone that will you know keep keep a clownfish by itself because he's just been you know been very aggressive lately. Now some 
Um, some people think that what may have caused the aggression was him trying to actually find a mate and he was getting a bit like um, a bit moody about it. He, he, was, he was cleaning his area a lot. He, he really wanted to, I think, find a mate and, you know, like breed. It was getting to that time. But of course, there was no other clownfish in the aquarium then. So I don't know if we could have put a smaller clownfish in there and it might have um, like helped with the aggression, but we don't want to risk that whatsoever. So we just brought it back. And yet, um, yeah, the clownfish is gone now. So, so when we were at the fish shop, um, we were thinking about, you know, getting, getting, you know, some more clownfish that will go in this aquarium that will not, you know, show aggression to the firefish because most of the time, um, if, you know, a fish was introduced after another fish, it probably won't go after it because that fish will be more established to the, you know, aquarium system. So we went for that and we decided to get a really nice pair of um, black snowflake clams and they are very nice in the aquarium. Now you can actually see them in the aquarium, they're just at the top there. If you look really closely, they're just swimming around right now. They've only been in the tank for a short while now. Um, I'll play you a clip of them be the climatized. So as you saw there, they are very nice fish. They've got very nice patterns to them. I really like them a lot. So now what I'm gonna do is just get you off the tripod now, give you a little tour around the tank and show you the new clownfish, I guess. Right then, so here's the tank. And as you can see, here are the new clownfish. So like I said, they're black snowflake flake clowns. They're really pretty colors. You get a better shot on them. They're really lively at the minute. Uh, so. Um, I got two, of course, you know, can't can't have a reef tank without a pair of clowns. I mean, I survived with one clown. Um, I really wanted to get two, but I didn't want to risk it. Um, but now he's gone, we can, you know, get two clowns now. Uh, they still haven't officially paired yet, and that's why, you know, they're not swimming together. They're still going to probably have a little nip at each other, um, show dominance to each other. Um, one is bigger than the other, so you can probably work out which one's going to be male and which one's going to be female. Um, get some nice shots on him now. Try to anyway. It's a really pretty fish. Really nice. It gives gives a really good contrast against the corals as well. This fish. There we go. Look at that. Really nice. Really nice clownfish they are. Uh, like I said again, really lively. Um, I think it's because they've just been added to the aquarium. They they really like they really like it when I stick my fingers like normal clownfish. As you just see there, they had a little had a little nip at each other. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the new inhabitants in the aquarium. Um, and you may be thinking, I've got loads of fish recently. Um, the firefish I got like two, three weeks ago now. Um, but I only announced it in last week's video. And these fish I just got today, um, like I said, they're doing really good, they're really nice fish. And I was gonna say now the fire fish has been coming out more, but you know, of course, every time I pull out the camera, he's still in his little cave. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait now. I'm gonna wait until the fire fish comes out. I don't care how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna wait for it to come out so I can show you guys. see the firefish there he is he's out I only have to wait 10 minutes there he is the good old firefish if you look closer you can see his tails are still a bit ripped from the old clown but as you can see he's just hanging out now he's he's not afraid whatsoever he's just under the arch just chilling really amazing fish really nice colors um, I wish he, he actually goes a bit sideways, you can see that nice red um, more to like the rear end of the fish I guess um, yeah really really nice fish I love his little face this guy has been like I said he's been in the tank for about three weeks now um, he's really getting used to everything now um, he, re he really does like my pellets um, 
I feed. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just an all round amazing fish, amazing nano fish. So yeah, that's basically everything to update about. Um, I think, I don't know if I've shown you that the level coral has moved now down to down here. Um, I just moved it away because the anemone was getting quite close to it and I wanted some more room for some, you know, SPS up there. You know, as we get into that SPS era now. Um, but yeah, that's basically the tank. I can't wait for these little clowns to, you know, start hosting a place. I doubt they are going to host the anemone because they're not natural to hosting that type of anemone. Um, I don't mind if they do or if they don't. Uh, uh, it's up to them really. Uh, I just want to, I just hope that they pair. Thank you for watching this um, video today. I was really sad that, the, that our old clownfish went. We really, you know, got attached to him. Um, he, we've had him for like, what, three, three, nearly four years now. I had him way before I started this YouTube channel. And now he's gone because, you know, he's just being that more aggressive and we just, we just do not want that in the aquarium. It's supposed to be like a nice, peaceful tank. It needs to be for the safety of other fish as well. But yeah, that's basically it guys. So like I said, thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I really, really do. That really does help me. And other than that guys, thank you for watching and happy reefing.